it's Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down Crash Into Me by the Dave Matthews Band. Also, thanks so much for your support. I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel Marty Music and clicking that bell notification so you're notified whenever I make a new video. That stuff helps me out a lot. All right, let's break it down. First thing we're gonna do is learn this, this shape for C sharp minor seven. Everything revolves around this shape right here. So it's middle finger on the fourth fret A string, stretchy stretch to the second fret D string, and then ring finger to the fourth of the G, and then pinky on the fifth of the B. So that's a minor seven chord. What's uh, really cool about this voicing is if the middle finger is here, that's an E major with its third in the bass, an inversion. So we start with that C sharp and get a little pattern going like this. It kind of keeps that pace going as we move a little bass line. So as practice, you can uh, hold those there, fifth and fourth, and then middle finger, index there, but just get the bass line going. It's the, this uh, fourth fret A, then open, and then second fret. And if you can cover the A and E, good. If not, it mutes that D string and you're gonna be fine either way. So you have this. Then the open E. So once again. So then I grab fourth fret E string and that index finger is back over. And it's that chord I was talking about. So the middle finger kind of mutes that A string there. It doesn't kinda, it does. So the bass line. So that fourth fret E and then open A, then second fret, then open E. And then it starts over again. So open E, fourth on the E, open A, second fret, open E. So now let's get that shape going and you're gonna go like this. So you hit the bass note, fourth fret A, then chung a dung on the chord. And as that's still ringing out, you get back over to the open A. Second fret A, with the jingy jingy, open E. So you're just going to keep going back to that little da 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 da. So check this out. Let me break it down a little bit slower for you. See that? So it's like dun, dun, dun. So each time you're gonna go to a chord. finally 
hit that C sharp minor seven chord. So it's fourth fret, you know, you're holding the shape and it's just that same little box pattern here on the two and four of the E and the A string. So the E string four, open A, second fret, so. And then an E major chord. Let's check it out. Baby is going to be a D major chord over F sharp in the bass. So you can play it the easiest way is a D chord with the thumb over here. I'm definitely hearing one guitar. There's multiple gu overdubs, but I'm hearing this inversion here. So if you really wanted to get it even more, it'd be thumb on the second. Then you'd have four, two, three. But you're going to get the same uh, same tonality, same chord, playing it like that. Come into. back to it. Now, there's, I guess, two other sections we can talk about, but they're just timing, arrangement variations of, of what we've just done. So if you can do what we just did, all the other parts, they're just different kind of combinations of the same concepts. Now, there's another guitar part that you can add if you were a second guitar player. which would be, you know, it's just this open kind of E major thing, but if you do fifth fret B, fourth fret G, with the high E ringing out, oops, nope. You know, and you can improvise it, but it's just the second fret E and the fourth fret E. Definitely not the third fret E. As you heard, it sounded horrible. Okay, so now let's talk about the timing of, and it's in a boy's dream, in a boy's dream. It does uh, two measures of the C sharp. One, two, three, four, one, two. But then a quick. So let me show you how that goes. So this other section, the timing is what's weird about it. Uh, it's two measures of the C sharp. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then the open A version, one, two, three, and. So that second fret of the A. So, so far, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, A. B, E. And so the E for here, if you just, even though it's the same shape, if you strum the open E with it, you get an E power chord. So you got C sharp, two, three, four. C sharp, open A, B, E, two, three, and. Now it's the fourth fret, the G sharp, fourth fret, E string. And then open A. To that second fret, then the E, but just for a half a measure. One, two. So one, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. A, two, and E. Top again. So one more time that bridge. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, 
four, A two, B E two, G sharp, A two, B E two, top. And that's what you get. Now, another thing at the end, the only thing you have to worry about, and it's it keeps building, you're just gonna be doing this. So it's just this like second half of the progression. Uh, I'm the dirty rascal, you know that part. The end. there it is there it was and there it shall be let me know uh, what you'd like to learn or what you'd like to see in the comments below while you're down there I appreciate you uh, liking and subscribing to the channel here thank you again hope to see you later